fish on. Look at that mouth on that fish, dude. What a great way to end a fun day on the back welcome back to another video and man did we luck out on the weather or what look at this day unbelievable outside once again impeccable timing on this little day-long road trip where are we you might ask well we're several hours from home got up early not as early as I would have liked granted by how high the Sun is and um, we we're down on a river system. Wanted to get you guys a whole bunch of fall walleye river fishing content. Absolutely gorgeous down here in the fall. A lot more leaves on the trees here than there is uh, back home. But and today we're going to break it down. Haven't been to a river in probably a month, so figured we were about due. Fall river fishing can be very good. A lot of times in the summer you have fish kind of very scattered much more kind of picky on bait and all that kind of stuff in the fall generally they're much bitier as long as you can get around them now i will preface this video by saying this there's a crazy concentration of fish about four miles north of here but along with that crazy concentration of fish comes an absolutely ridiculous concentration of boats so we're going to stay away from that we're going to run around downriver, pick up the scraps. Generally, this time of year in the fall, once you get temps, especially like 50 to 50 degrees and under, you have a big upstream migration of walleyes, which will happen where a lot of these fish will suck way upriver to a dam or some big pinch point or uh, uh, whatever it might be. Um, we're going to stay away from that, pick away down here. Just keep in mind that if you go, you know, if you want to just get on like the easiest, fastest thing, a lot of times it's going to be around the most boats in the fall. But um, got a whole bunch of stuff rigged up, jigging plastic, Acme V-Rod Blue, blade bait, crankbait, jig and minnow. We got a little bit of everything. So we're going to start sorting through some presentations. Hopefully break it down for you guys as well as get a good walleye now app video doing some fall river fishing. So stay tuned. We're going to start chucking some baits, looking for some fish, and hopefully put something together here by the end of the day. Right there. Wow, that did not take long. And it's definitely feeling right. You know, river, it's a grab bag, but this would feel real good. This is gonna be our first wall, actually. I tell you, it's definitely a relatively nice fish here. That one came on the jig. Oh yes, look at this. <laughs> right away, too. Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh, I love these river walleyes. Such a cool deal. Come here, come here, buddy. Come here. There we go. Number one, fall river walleyes. I'll take it like that too. About a 20 inch fish and per usual on the river. Jig fell right out, there we go. Per usual on the river. They are eating good. Look how pudgy and stocky these guys are. Absolutely love fishing these rivers and fall is a phenomenal time to be on a lot of these river systems. There we go, that is a very solid, healthy, clean fish right there. There we go. Just kind of dipping my toes in the water, you know? Spot number one, chucked a blade bait around for a second, went with the old pendu jig and a minnow, right? Because why wouldn't you when it works absolutely everywhere you're gonna go. I probably took about three casts with that, just kind of fanning this little wing dam right behind me. So let's string them together. Let's get a few more going. A lot of times where you find one, you find multiple. When you're fishing these wing dams, you might go two, three spots with nothing and then catch four, five, six off one. So let's get it going on with some more. Fish on. Wow, dude, are they absolutely hammering that thing. See when we got the right kind. Oh yes, oh yes, dude, we are on them. Just kind of shifting around on this little spot here. 
It's kind of a point, a wing dam. I don't think it's really a man-made little dealio here. We got another really nice river walleye on here. On the old Pendu jig, probably about five, 10 minutes after the last one. Not fast and furious yet, but if I can find enough fish, the fall river walleyes, generally they just bite. So if I can get myself around enough fish, should be able to catch them. There we go, a little 17 incher. We'll take them all because they all thump a jig so hard. And as they are being a river fish, they pull. And it is absolutely a gorgeous day to be out here. Ooh, that water's chilly. A lot chillier than the air today. Water is 49 degrees. Kind of seen it all over the place from 52 to 47 so far. But uh, it's definitely a big fluctuation in temperature kind of up and down the river. But there we go. Molly number two on the jig. If I can get around enough of them and feel confident about it, I will definitely be able to catch these fish on a plastic. Sometimes it's easier just when you're trying to get your bearings. Put a few fish under your belt, fish the live bait for a little bit, and uh, then go to the plastic probably. Or blade bait. We'll see which one they want. But for now, we'll bait back up again. See if we can't donk another one on the jig. Dude, these fish are hitting this thing. Feels like I'm stuck now. Well, I did have a fish. Do not have a fish now. Unless I can get them off of this wing dam or if I'm stuck on a piece of wood or something. No way. Wow. Did you guys see that? That was unbelievable. I can't even believe the fish is still on. <laughs> Set the hook. Fishing a real rocky top of a wing dam here. They're fighting the fish, all of a sudden, just dead weight. Kind of motored back down river to get on the backside, mainly just to get my jig out. I figured there's kind of no way that that fish was still on. And look at that, he was still on. I was literally trying to break the line off on the wing dam just so I could get my jig back. <laughs> well, there you go. Walleyes are on some of these wing dams for sure. And they're eating jig in a minnow. No need to make things really any harder than they really have to be. That was kind of a bizarre fish catch. I feel like there was like 45 seconds where it wasn't talking there and it's going to come through. Really awkward on the video, but whatever. Whenever you're fishing all these wing dam rocks, check your fluorocarbon leader constantly because they will just fray it like crazy we're still good though some miraculous way i did not break off caught that fish and don't have to retie Got him right there. Absolutely crushed that thing, dude. Another really nice river walleye. Man, what a fun day this is. Probably been out for about an hour now. You know, fished a few spots where just nothing happened. Lost a few jigs along the way, as you normally do, but man, are they absolutely thumping that thing, dude. Fall river walleyes always have a sweet spot in my heart because they just they just fire when you get around them this year is kind of different because we've been dealing with crazy low water levels a lot of the places you know a lot of different rivers so it's fishing considerably different now when you think about fishing a river system and losing water 
walleyes don't like to be in the slack water, yet they don't like to be in the really fast water. So if you add a lot more water, you obviously add a lot more current. So a lot of times the fish might suck closer to a shoreline. They might sit in a current break that's, you know, a pretty strong current break in a low flow. So a lot of times, you know, if that spot, if you got a big wing dam where it's like, you know, one foot deep, two foot deep over there, there's basically no flow up in there right now. Where if you added three, four, five feet of water on top of this, that would be a good current break. So these fish are definitely sucking out two pieces of structure with some current hitting it with just kind of a slight current break in it. And that's a lot of the times where you can find fish or how you can kind of follow fish in a river system based on how much flow you have. Right now, very low flow, but uh, we're obviously getting it done, finding a few fish. Also, they'll definitely kind of scatter as you lose current. The more current you have, it seems like a lot of times fish will group up yeah, because in some of the harder current breaks, when you lose a lot of that current, the fish will kind of disperse because they could be a lot more places in the river, it seems like. So we're putting it together, you know, fishing quite a few spots, but picking them off as we go. Right there. Just throttling it, dude. <laughs> Even for a little jumper walleye like this. My gosh, are they ever smoking it. A little 15 incher here. Nothing big, definitely the smallest one of the day. But we'll take them of all sizes when they got an attitude like that. Perky little river walleyes right there. And man, that bite is just boom, heavy, heavy. You couldn't miss that light with the ugly stick with 35 palmano on. You'd still feel it unbelievably aggressive thump to that and i think we might just catch like one more on the jig in the minnow and then we i think it's time to go plastic i haven't been sold yet i found like a bunch of fish in one spot but um it might just be time you know it might just be time to go big and aggressive and and see what happens because i'll tell you what did not get a lot of minnows when i came here and now looking at them they're all like crappie minnow size. There's just nothing worse than that, is there? When you're somewhere you want to catch big fish and all you have is these tiny, tiny little uh, minnows. Best fatheads I've ever seen in my life for walleye fishing, hands down. Unintentional sales, plug, pitch, whatever you want to call it here. Fred's bait. Up there, some of you guys know. Some of you guys know the secret. Fred's Bait, Deer River, Minnesota. Unfortunately, they were about six hours out of my way this morning. Fish out, right there, that's feeling good. That's feeling real good. Unless it's a sheep's head. Come on, big walleye. Oh my gosh, it's a really big walleye. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness. I literally just caught a sheep's head. Now I got a giant walleye on, I gotta get my net. That got big really fast. Sometimes the big ones you can feel like dum, 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 dum. you can feel feel like the teeth on the line. That's exactly what I felt there, dude. Come on, it's a giant. It's a giant. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> oh man, give me a second. It's so awesome when the day is kind of coming together and you're running a pattern, spot to spot to spot, and it's paying off a little bit. And uh, it's always way more rewarding when you got to work a little bit. And we're gonna show you guys this fish because this is a super nice river walleye right here. I mean, dude, he's probably he's probably 26 to 28 inches long. Oh man, and he just wolfed that jig, dude. Look at that mouth on that fish, dude. Wolfed the jig. Gotta really easily get it out here. Don't shake. Give me one more second here, fish. 
Come on, come on, don't do that, don't do that. Should just get the pliers. There we go, it came right out. Dude, look at that river beast right there. Big river walleyes in the fall, such a cool pattern, and just catching a bunch of fish today. How are you gonna beat that right there? Look at that thing, dude. Wow, what a fun day this has been. Studs, dude, stud river walleyes. Doesn't get any better. Absolutely love traveling new places, catching fish. We're gonna take a quick thumbnail then we'll let them go. Oh man, that is such a good feeling right there. Stud daddy. Walleyes out here in the river system. Let's let that guy go. I'll try to get you guys the release shot here. Trying my best. Oh, I gotta turn the camera around with one hand. Oh, look at that thing, dude. No idea how this footage looks. Oh, he's angry though. He's angry. So rewarding. When the day's coming together like that. Not a crazy amount of fish, but dude, you get a, you know, you kind of put a little pattern together, then you strike a big one like that on your pattern, you're like, oh, it's rewarding. It feels good. You know, filming videos for a living is always, you know, obviously number one, you gotta go out and you gotta catch the fish, which can be hard enough uh, some days just alone. Then on top of that, you gotta get the video right and your mics have to be on. So it's always this little extra challenge to just have everything to come together, which just makes it a little bit sweeter when you're breaking down a system and catching walleyes like that. So not much else to say, that was a good one right there. And uh, moving around up and down the river system here. And you know, one, one big thing I would say is generally if you're fishing a bite that's good, like the fish or let's say bitey, Move around fast if you're not catching fish. You know, in river systems, sometimes it's hard to tell if you're if you're around walleyes, if you're not around walleyes, all that kind of stuff. So move around a lot, put your bait in as many different places as you can. Because if they're there, they're gonna bite. It's not happening today where we're like making a bunch of cast of fish and they're not biting. And we're fishing a wing dam pattern today. And one of, it's one of the best things about the Mega Live. It's not necessarily telling me per se like right where the the fish are although i can see some of them but you can see like right here it's obviously no structure right there we're in 17 feet of water as i turn it this way there's the top of that wing dam right there and i know exactly you know i can pitch my bait 40 feet out and be right there and if you turn it this way you can still see i'm on the top right there turn it farther and you pretty much are going to lose it so it's really good at kind of dialing in that perfect casting where i'm like okay if there's fish here they're going to be set up right here Boom, 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 three casts, nothing, move. Otherwise you might catch a fish like that. So that was the rewarding one. Let's do it again. Well, one thing you'll notice when you're fishing low flow, a little bit like we talked about, where you're looking for spots that are getting hit by a little bit more current. And a lot of times, you know, we're fishing wing dams and points and things like that today. But, you know, a lot of times you can look at a map and like, all right, uh, one that might look like this right here, which we just caught this big fish off of. This one's obviously, you know, this is the, the current's coming this way. So you can see there's nothing above it and that bank's very steep. Normally what that means is you're gonna have a fair amount of current coming into that, that face of that wing dam. Now, if you're looking at one that might look like, you know, let's say like this one right here. If you're looking at this one, obviously this is just a big flat. It's deeper on the other side in that main current flow. And it's kind of just all up on this flat and there's a whole bunch of wing dams in front of it. So because of all those things, hopefully I didn't just mess up my audio, but hopefully be because of all those things, it doesn't receive as much current, especially when the water's low like this. So there's not really any fish on those, those kind of structures. So a lot of times it's going back to those ones where there's a fair amount of current hitting it and a lot of times you can look at a map you don't want it to be way up on a shallow flat you generally want it to be somewhere near the main flow um, especially when you're dealing with current levels and water levels that are just way down so looking at the map kind of making that distinction right away um, saves you a lot of time when you're running up and down these rivers and kind of fishing all these points or wing dams or things like that and if you get into one of these spots that you kind of look at on the map and you're you know just your boat's not really drifting and you don't feel your jig sweeping there's not really any current there and there's probably not going to be any fish there so um, it's kind of using those little visual clues a lot of times 
to kind of get you in the direction of fish. And that, in my opinion, is one of the coolest things about these river systems is you can come here a month from now and maybe we get a ton of rain and all the spots change, all the fish change location, and it's a totally new system. So river's very diverse and uh, that's really what makes them fun. Right there. Feeling like a big walleye, dude. It's feeling like another big walleye. Come on. We need it. We need it. We want it. Come on. Be a big one. Come on. It's gotta be, dude. Oh yeah, another really nice walleye. Wow, dude, what a great way to end the day. That is what I'm talking about right there. Not as big, oh, don't come off. Not as big as the last one, but man, dude, are they angry out here? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I love it, dude. Well, not a day filled with a million hook sets. You guys can tell where the sun's at right now. I mean, we're kind of reaching the end. But, you know, when we knowingly didn't go to where probably most of the fish were going to be, which is up at a dam location or a bridge at this time of year, which is where there's a lot of people fishing. We kind of knew we weren't gonna, you know, tie into 50 fish today. Quarter ounce good gold Google Eye caught the bulk of our fish today. Caught some on a quarter ounce pendu. Very important to match that jig to how much current you got in these river systems. And well, what a great way to end a fun day on the river. I'm still gonna call this early fall because late fall is like the end on these river systems. And there's a lot of season left to get out here and catch fall walleyes just like that out here on all these rivers across the Midwest. Too cool, man. And they are angry out here in the river system. Fall walleye fishing on rivers. I feel like you have a lot more time on these systems because obviously they, they'll, they won't freeze for a long time. Obviously you got the current moving and fall on the river systems can be some of the best big walleye fishing of the year. And we're just kind of getting into that time frame. Fish on, right there. Wow. Just caught that other one just a second ago here. Feeling right, feeling right. It's not gonna be as big if it is a walleye. Oh yes. <laughs> and this is gonna be it, you guys. This is the final fish of the day here. It's going all ridiculous right there. Come here, buddy. Another nice walleye though. Nothing to complain about that right there. Well, the fishing fast and aggressive has certainly been the way to go I would say there we go look at that it has been an absolute blast down here it's absolutely beautiful night still in the 50s and uh, the wind totally died down and it's just a perfect fall evening and look at that another nice river walleye there it is not much else to say just shot a, a nice piece for the app the walleye now app available on Google Play in the App Store um, as you guys know, um, kind of just running through this pattern in great detail. Jig weights, casting angles, all these little things, boat positioning, all these little things that make a big difference. And uh, as you guys know, I love putting all that kind of, otherwise you end up with a 10 minute, 10 minute chunk of every video just on super specific stuff. And not everybody likes that kind of stuff, believe it or not. But if you do, the Walleye Now app is obviously for you because it's filled with 300 custom videos just on that kind of stuff. But not a whole lot else to say. I think we're going to wrap it up right there. I'm going to drive all the way home tonight, another three and a half hours back home. <laughs> Wish I would have got down here earlier today because I had an absolute blast. Was going to stay overnight, but I was like, man, if I get the video done in one day, I'll probably just go home and go back and work on my garage again, which I'm excited to show you guys. But appreciate you guys watching this video. Like I said, check out that Walleye Now app video. Um, it'll simply be found. Get on the Walleye Now app, click Let's Go Fishing at the bottom page, click Early Fall, click River, and the thumbnail looks something like this. But appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.